up, people? Hey, what's up, people? We are live here on Pinup School Cats and Comics. I am Dennis. Unfortunately, Teresa could not be with us tonight. So last week we had Jen as a guest, and she referred Guru Poo Poo. So she is going to be our co-host tonight. Uh, so what's going on? Oh, that's a lot is going on. <laughs> this is a good time to be alive in the universe. Yes, it is. Yes, I will put big spells on everybody tonight. Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> mm. You Just, went to uh, Comic Con. Sharing here. a little bit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so. Share, uh, share. Basically, um, yeah, last week we had Jen on, who you're friends with as well, and she was a great guest. She has a lot of stuff going on. She uh, okay. Yeah, sure. I love Jen. Yeah, Jen's great. Jen is great. Um, All right. <laughs> and, and this week we have Veronica on, who... Hi, everyone. Is, does a lot for the show, actually, behind the scenes. You do our promo videos, our intro video. We do. Uh, and stuff like that. <laughs> do a lot of sharing. <laughs> and we have Sarah on, who has a lot going on. You're an intuitive counselor, yeah. spiritual teacher, wow. and a channel for the light of Amana. Yes, and I'm a medium as well. So before we get into things, we'll go over our sponsor, and then we'll get into Comic Con and talk about that. So Sounds good. We have our new sponsor, Kayla Logistics. Now, uh, Frank Zambuto is a guy you want to go to. He's yes. my cousin, and I can vouch for him. The guy is the best at everything he does. And Kayla Logistics, where your business is our priority, moving products you use every day across the country and around the world. Contact Frank Zambuto for all your domestic and international logistic projects. Frank has over 20 years' experience working with many name brand companies in the apparel, cosmetics, as seen on TV, and electronic industries. For trucking, air, and ocean cargo on all seven continents, all you need is one solution. To all Cool Cat listeners, just mention our show, and Frank will offer a free cost and transit time analysis for all your cargo. Where cost and time matter, we deliver Frank Zambuto, aka Logistics. Again, where your business is our priority. And there's a lot of confusion right now with the tariffs and stuff going on. Frank knows it all. Uh, you can call him for anything. His number is 347-536-3933. Frank Zambuda, Kayla Logistics. All right. So Thursday, we went to Comic-Con. We did. And it was pretty cool. Uh, last year was my first year at Comic-Con. And I had the bright idea to wear full medieval armor. Go big or go home, huh? Exactly. <laughs> uh, it was legit, uh, as you could get. It was custom built, but not custom built for me. Right. So it was pretty painful walking around. It was cutting into my arms, my neck, my How shoulder. How did you pee? Uh, very carefully. <laughs> you have latch. Luckily enough, that was open, so I was pets. able to to get what I needed to get to to, to pee show with no us. problem. Show um, us. I'll show you later. That's okay. private. Okay. 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 Fair uh, enough. But this That's year, it. I decided to go a lot easier, and I basically went as me with Lucille, so everyone just, you know, I, I was Negan. you were Negan. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And V1 is Wonder Woman. Yeah. I did. A sexy Wonder Woman? Or uh, a dowdy Wonder Woman, like we see today? No, today's not Wonder Woman. This is actually Captain Marvel. You gotta get Marvel. your stuff together. You should know uh, the stuff. I went, I went as it the, is all the same. I went as the Americans. actual new Wonder Woman. Oh, I thought Wonder Woman's not American. Oh, but she's Amazonian. I from Poopa. What do I know? <laughs> she's Amazonian. <laughs> you, 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 you're gonna get you're gonna get the geeks very upset on the show if you call Wonder Woman American. <laughs> Earth Especially Will, Will right now is probably pulling the hair out of his head going, American, no! I saw the, I'm not from this world. You but, tell um, me. You if you me. want, we, uh, if you're ready in there, we can start with the video that we, that we shot and take it from there. Oh, 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 
So that, that was our uh, little thing at Comic-Con there. And <laughs> as, as you see, there was, there was everything, every type of everything. costume. It's not just comic books. I mean, you saw Zoya the Destroyer from Glow, which I don't know if you got to watch yet, but it's I haven't fun. watched it yet. I heard it's a really good show. Watch Glow. We're just ladies wrestling. Even people on planet poop like Glow. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, some people went all out, like that Rick and Morty thing. That yeah, he was that actually was walking crazy. around yeah, with that display. He had the whole really cool. car he was thing. was just rolling around with it. Yeah. I don't know how you even got into the venue with it. And how long did that take to make? Oh, my God. <laughs> Who knows? There was this uh, Lego Spider-Man walking around, and he was actually like, you know, clunking around like a Lego. Oh and was, and people were like, who's that? That must have taken him at least a they, year. They should have been, if they didn't know who that was, they actually should have been escorted out of town. Yeah, Comic-Con this woman asked me, who is that? And I'm like, for at least a Lego year. Spider-Man. Yeah, duh. I have a real passion for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. duh. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously Spider-Man if you right. see the Lego yeah. pieces. Or, you know, I don't know. That's I don't know. Cool, though. Yeah, some, see, some people go all out with these costumes. I wish I had the time and energy to really, really go into a yeah. costume like that. Yeah. I did a, a few years back, I went as Michonne from, um, from The Walking Dead. And actually, oh, okay. I made most of the components. I spray mm-hmm. painted the sword, the katana, and everything. Are there so, like um, competitions? Just going they are, they do have a, they do have a, a cosplay people. competition every year. <laughs> Everything yeah. is but those co- those costumes are, are legit. These people should win more than what they win at, yeah. at Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 amazing. amazing what these people put into. I mean, some people as you see were lazy and didn't dress up at all. But to be fair, it was Thursday. It was Thursday. It was I know Thursday. Friday and Saturday are the crazy days there, and that's why I will never go. What was your costume? Uh, I basically was Negan from The Walking Dead. Oh, okay. Just, With the bat. Yeah. yeah. Basically, his, his everyday clothing in the yeah. bat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I scared the adults. Okay. Just like last year, actually. Yes. When I was in the full armor, a lot of people, because I would be standing there while she was looking around, and I wasn't moving because it hurt it to hurt. move. <laughs> so people were coming up and, uh, like, knocking on my head or touching me, and I would turn to look at them, and they jumped. Like, oh, my so, God, it moves. Okay, yeah. Anybody home? No, nobody's oh, home. Oh, nobody's <laughs> home. Okay. With that helmet, no candy yeah. for me. But you, you saw a familiar face, Bang Bang Luna. Yes. Um, who we had as a guest on the show, and we will again, was there, and it was great because she... She did the little promo with uh, Catwoman. With Catwoman, yes. Yeah. Two very sexy girls uh, yeah. pushing on the show. So, they, hey, you can't argue with that. Can't argue with that at all. <laughs> and speaking of sexy, how about that Predator? Oh, my God. Oh, that girl was amazing. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was uh, stopping her. She just I was like, whoa. I was like, can I take your picture, please? Yeah. <laughs> I can't it, imagine how long the, it took to make the that. The picture, oh. well, the little video you saw of her, the picture just did not do her justice at all. Um, that costume. It wasn't just the, 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 the mask, the headrest. Yeah. It was just the, the body paint and... Everything, all the, all the like details. Had a shot from behind and the head too, she was it was, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, V is kind of a, a Comic Con expert. You've been going for how many years? Oh, uh, I've been going since I went. First time I went was 2008, and I've been going now since 2012 every year, without fail. Cool. Have you so. ever been to Comic Con? Yes, I've been to Comic Con twice. <laughs> yes, there's too many humans there. Uh, it's dirty. Anywhere with public bathrooms, I don't go. <laughs> public bathroom, I, I don't go. No, no, I no, agree. no, no, no. Yeah, by the, by the weekend, you're just done. No, yeah. I did, about, did. about three years back, I decided I'm, I'm no longer going on the weekend. The space. bathroom looks like Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No. <laughs> that is not the kind of art I want to see. <laughs> Go to Google. I've never I'm been to Comic Con. It's a lot of fun. You it's gotta, something you should do at least once. You should yes. do it at least once. once. Gotta, no, at get, least once. Register yeah. with, yes. with them. One start getting those emails Comic-Con. for that pass because yeah. once they release those passes, they go out. They yeah, go like hotcakes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering what happened to my comments, but now they just all put popped up. Um, <laughs> Will said you can say whatever you want because you have a great accent. So it, even if you're wrong, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I will say whatever I want anyway. Thank you anyway. Thank you for your permission, yes, Will. Like, glow, oh, thank goodness I wrestling. have Will's permission. <laughs> there, there were a few people there dressed. Uh, the only one I saw was Zoya, but I saw pictures after the fact that there were people, other people dressed as some of the wrestlers from yes. Glow. Next, next year we should do like a group costume of some TV show or comic or something. Yeah, and if you don't know what Glow is, it, it's a Netflix series based off the actual Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling from the 80s, which is yes. very oh. cheesy. 
Nice. I've heard of it. Yeah. The yeah. But it's yeah. fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Oh, you told me. Somebody, oh. Jen told me about it. I saw Glow twice. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is Prime the Poop Love Glow. <laughs> so let's learn a little bit about you. Cause I, I, yes. Jen told me a little bit about you, but sure. I don't know that much. So why don't you... Sarah. No, you. Oh, Sarah. oh, yes. Oro, but it's me. Oro. Yes. Oro. Oro. We, we need to know a uh, co-host first. Jen. Which Jen? Jen. Many Jens. Feldy. The one who... Oh, do not believe anything she say. She's <laughs> trash. Well, because she no. told me you were a good yes, co-host, so I don't know. Should I not believe Jen that? Jen is great. Uh, uh, don't, do not believe Jen. Okay. Jen full of poop. Jen is full of poop. Me? <laughs> believe everything I say. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, me, I am from planet Poop. Mm -hmm. It is a square planet with five corners. Yes, I am from Mendicate City. Many men in Mendicate City. <laughs> I've been married uh, three times, uh, divorced ten. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so the world okay. leave it at this. I like to have a little bit of mystery. Well, know? divorce is more fun than marriage, right? That's why. Uh, divorce uh, robbed me out of house and home. I will never get married again. No, they took everything. They took all of my poop. Everything. But I have my sister's boob, which is where I get my power. <laughs> so yes, Frank, that answers your question. <laughs> what, Frank? He wanted to know if that was a boob on the desk. Yes, this is a boob. This is my sister's boob. I get all my power from the boob. Are we yeah. allowed to touch your boob or only? Yes, you you, you can. I like you. I I actually am fan of Sarah. <laughs> I am. That's I uh, many humans not so much. Good. Yes, and I get the power from compliments actually. So. Uh, now you have psychic abilities, right? <laughs> abilities. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, how is this show going to do today? We'll start with something easy. Well, I am here, so it it's is easy. going to be. <laughs> okay. It is going to be fabulous. <laughs> and and I again. do like you. I do not know you. You are you. We will see. Okay. Uh, yeah. And and Sarah, Sarah is quite good. Sarah, Sarah she, has she given might want to touch your boob too at some point. Oh, so. you can touch my boob. Oh, I can touch your boob. You can, sure, for sure. sure. But do not take, not, not too much, not too much. Not too much. <laughs> okay, enough, 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 enough. Dennis, you need to touch the boob too. That's right, I'm the only Okay, one. okay, we there unite we in boob. Ah, oh, the power of the boob. The boob, okay. Now, I'm a little, if you see Jen, tell her I'm upset with her. What? Because I expected Taco Bell on my truck and I did not get any. Taco Bell on your truck? Yeah, we were talking about how leaving food on the truck is a good thing to do. You would like Jen to leave Taco Bell on your truck. Yes. That and is crazy. She is okay with that, so. Yes, yeah. I am fine she with that. She doesn't mind. Why? Why the Taco Bell and why on truck? Because leaving food on someone's vehicle is a way to flirt nowadays, and it's oh. also um, oh, really? just a good thing to do. I didn't know that, Guru. Oh, we, we learned that last Guru, week. Guru, did yes. I have Taco Bell on your planet? No. I didn't think No, well, I've uh, never had Taco Bell. Bell. What yes. is Taco Bell? <laughs> Taco Bell is just like the best uh, fast food place, oh. especially when you're drinking. It's, well, there, that and <laughs> White Castle. They're are tied. there sexy men at Taco Bell? There's a lot of sexy men. A lot of sexy men with accents. Okay. Are, there? <laughs> are they the, the Latin? I usually go to the drive-thru. So <laughs> are they Latin men? Uh, Depends on... Probably not, because the Latin, Latin men, I think, are all working in the pizza places now. Mm. So I think it's all Italians that work at Taco Bell. Okay, we get pizza then. <laughs> they switch. I like yeah. the Latin men. I like the flavor. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Can't go yes, wrong with that. Yes, a little flavor, a little Goya, a Dovo, <laughs> Sazon. That's true, Larry. Uh, Taco Bell <laughs> was rated, I don't know about the healthiest, but it's one of the healthiest fast food One of the healthiest fast, fast food out there. Oh. It, it, and it did so, 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 so quietly, so secretly, oh. like, boom, we're the healthiest. You know why? Because there's hardly anything. <laughs> <laughs> It's basically just a shell, you or just unless you put gloves and cream on it. Healthy pendulum signal. That looks like up and that down. Looks like That's a yes. yes. To me. Nope, no, that would is be no. left and right. No, nope. left and right. <laughs> is I know yes a little today. bit about the pendulum there. So this is can, yes. You can pe program your pendulum. Yes. See, well, what's cool? We're going to Salem. Hmm. Yes, we are. And uh, we've been to Salem and New Orleans, and they both have the, uh, the shops where you can get the yeah hex. They both have hex. Yes. The actual store. We get the pendulums and learn a little oh. bit about it. So why don't, um, actually, why don't you jump in on this conversation? Yes. Being another, uh, I don't want to call you the psychic extraordinaire because we have the psychic extraordinaire. <laughs> well, she's I don't a want to take away from her. psychic. I'm a real psychic. Excuse <laughs> me? <laughs> Guru, tell, tell everyone. Uh, tell I everyone am about the, your plan. <laughs> this is the life with Guruji. I made this myself. Hey. I've been working on this since 2010. Doesn't that say Jenaji right there? No. Right no. 
This is my see, plan. She's a fraud. That she's was very similar to the book that <laughs> Jen had real. on a show she's last a week. See, she Jen, steals. she steals from others. No, this is the life with Guruji. Mm. Yes, if you want the best butt, the best arteries, the best brain, you follow the life with Guruji. So tell them about pendulums. Oh, the pendulum. Uh, you know what? Why don't you? Why don't you know everything? Why don't you? Why don't you? <laughs> So I, enough. A pendulum is just a tool, really. Oh. Okay? Oh. So you can you can use it to communicate with spirit or your higher self. Mm. But you just use it as a tool, and you can ask it questions. Mm. But you can program it first as to what your yes is or what your no is. Mm. So if I say, pendulum, show me my yes. Okay? Mm. This is my yes. Yes is left and right today. Yes, very good. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so I say, pendulum, show me my no. This mm. is my no. So mm. then I can ask it a question. What do you want to ask? So, do you have any questions? Um, well, we have fun in Salem. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis and yeah. Monica have fun in Salem. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> so it's just a way I think it's going to start tomorrow night. Right? <laughs> so, uh, Guru will ask a question. Now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's take us questions from the audience. Yes, that's we a have yeah. a micro zine in the audience. <laughs> yeah, B, we're on Monday now. What would you uh, like to know? New station, new uh, time, new whatever. Um, somebody was just asking if that were on Monday now. So oh. I, I just want to say for anyone who thinks she's moving it on her own, um, I'm not. I experimented it with it in Salem and in New Orleans. Oh, that's and too. it's question. the weirdest thing yeah. because they, they do have a board you go over and it yeah. you know it could go to the corners mm -hmm. or up and down left and right and it has all these different things and it on go, there. It pulls to different and I will vouch, yeah. I held that thing as still as anything. And when I asked certain things it would stop moving like crazy. When I asked it to stop, it would stop. Mm. So whether it's something you're doing subconsciously or whatever, it does happen. It, and it, I did it, it, it. she did, did it, it, Teresa did it, one. and Teresa's mm. very upset she couldn't be here by by the way. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, she had a uh, fine engagement she couldn't get out of. But, yeah. You cannot do everything. But it was it, it's really freaky, so if you ever get a chance to, to is. go I to one of those shops and try a pendulum. Like, I gotta buy yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> Or you see yeah. Sarah, or me. Yeah, we have many pendulums. Yeah, so do, do we have any questions we could ask uh, Guru Poo Poo with her pendulum? Anyone, uh, I know there's a little bit of delay, so we'll wait. So why don't you tell us uh, your background as, as uh, sure. a spiritual so, advisor and all. Who are you? Who am I? My name is Sarah. Um, I am a spiritual teacher, I'm a counselor, and I'm a channeler. So do you guys know what channeling is? Yes. Yes, you do. What do you know about channeling? What is channeling? He does not know. <laughs> I'm testing I, you. <laughs> well, I, I have had experiences with stuff like that, and... I, I know you also do Reiki, and I I, mm -hmm. I want to say I was a Reiki master because after I got it, I kind of stopped doing everything, so I kind of lost track with it. it. I know I, so I I just would have to get it back. Yeah, and you I know always have it. You could channel energy. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know there's different levels of channeling. Mm -hmm. You could channel energy from, from what's around you. Mm -hmm. You could channel energy from mm -hmm. spiritual plane mm -hmm. or stuff Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. That's 100% so. right. So, um, yeah, so people are Reiki masters, energy healers. You can channel energy. So I believe that there's a source of energy that's available to all of us. And when I say channeling, we really all are able to channel. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're creative beings. We're all creative. Whether, you know, even if you don't write or paint or dance, you're still creating just by being human. So, you know, I the best way to explain channeling is just being in that source. Have you ever had a moment where you're just in the zone? Yes. And you're not thinking, and time just yes. isn't a factor. Playing sports, uh, it's happened where everything's just slowed down. You're just in the zone, you're yeah. channeling. And, you know, sometimes even I tell people, if you have a conversation with a friend, and all of a sudden you have these pearls of wisdom, mm. and you're like, that's not me. Like, it's just coming out of you. Or mm -hmm. sometimes people write, and they're like, where is that? <laughs> so this is all a form of channeling. What I do is kind of, I would say, like an upgrade of that. I'm channeling, but with... Um, a divine source of energy mm. called Amana. So my actual Amana. Amana, yes. My actual <laughs> physical body as Sarah is um, an open gateway and vessel for this light to come in. So just like a medium, you guys know what a medium is, right? right. A yes. medium would communicate with loved ones on the other side. What if you're big? Are you still medium? <laughs> <laughs> you're yes. quite small. Medium. Yes, even if you're small, you can be you're a medium, small. right? You're oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like okay. A, Okay. So just like a medium would communicate mm. with a loved one from the other side, 
I'm communicating, but I'm allowing um, my body to be a vessel for that communication. So my consciousness shifts to the side as Sarah, and I allow this energy to communicate through me. So mm. Mike needs some help. He's trying to channel the NHL network, but it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> so to that. My best suggestion would be to uh, call your hey, cable company. <laughs> stop stealing and pay for it. Yeah. But um, I studied Kung Fu for a while as well, and they don't call it channeling, but they have chi, the inner yeah, energy, yes. and you can, you can draw from chi, prana, what's around you. Yes, yeah, there, there is a, um, a source of energy that's available to all of us, and it's just, um, you know, it needs an outlet for that. I mean, for some people, it's the gym, right? It's yeah. working mm. out, it's sports. I, Jim, I need to get that Mark, pack. James, Matt, Jack, Paul, Nick, yes. Nick, whatever, or Nick, men, or it Nick, could be men, Matt. that could be you your really outlet. Like <laughs> yes. Guys named Nick. If no, you're named a few. Nick, there's a few of them. Yes. But I'm just I, saying, I if you're a guy named one. Nick, Guru Poo Poo might be yeah. interested. Uh, who? Nick. Oh, well, I have enough Nicks. No, Nicks, enough. no more Nicks. Too enough. many Nicks. Yes. <laughs> and you know, energy is constant, so it needs to move. So that's why the gym is great, or any yes. kind of physical movement. Moving chi. Um, chi. If you don't move chi, you might succumb to drug use, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or, or addictions. Or emotional, you yes. know, problems. The body, your energy needs to move. And right. if it's stagnant, um, you, you experience different symptoms, right? So. That does exactly, move. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what I'm going to do now. She's stagnant. <laughs> do um, not be stagnant. <laughs> so the channeling and mediumship. Well, my, I said it. <laughs> mediumship, yes. Are you medium too? I'm a small medium. Yeah, small medium. I'm okay. a small medium <laughs> channel. And if she committed a crime, she'd be a small medium at large. Sorry, be fair. That's your joke. I'm a small medium <laughs> large channel. A large yeah. channel. I have seen you channel. It's quite good. Yes, Guru has seen. Even me I, channel. yeah, I have to. I have to give it to you. And Jen has seen me too. Mm -hmm. Jen. <laughs> now, what mo made you realize you had this ability? So that's a good question. Um, mm. You know. I think that um, she came to a seminar of mine. Yes, Guru helped me. <laughs> Guru helped me get in touch. That with is my... where she found out. <laughs> <laughs> I she actually will deny. I started getting into meditation. Oh, and I'm gonna say to anyone. That's usually a good source. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say to anybody out there who is really thinks they're gifted or they might be gifted, which we really all are. Meditation. How about really, masturbation? That too. Okay. Yeah. You find out a lot about yourself with that as well. <laughs> oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> okay. Anything that ends in shun. Shun. Yeah. Shun. Will open. You, you usually, well, at least for guys, we need a shun to do the masturbation. Okay. You know, the erect shun. Not for the medication, no. Okay. That might not help. Mendicate. Wow. Yeah. So, what was the, oh, so how did I, yeah, so. Yeah, because really, I, well, you said it. I, I believe you're right, too. I think we all have this ener energy and power that we could get to. Yeah, that's happened too. But just like anything else, I think some people are better at it than others, and it's, some, it's more natural to some people than others. Definitely. So. I mean, it's also about clearing the mind, right? So mm. there's a limitless place in you that has accessibility to everything, but a lot of the times, well, most of the times, it's that doubt that creeps in, or what am I doing, or, you know, you try to sit down and you have this busyness, I have to do this, I have mm. to do that. So it's just about allowing yourself to be in the moment, which is difficult for us. We always are not in the moment, right? And, and mm. we're taught to not believe in certain things as we grow yeah. older and things yeah. are told to us that are impossible. Yeah. And That's true. again, like just even with Kung Fu, I did stuff personally and I saw stuff right in front of me that was supposedly impossible. Mm. Was everybody Kung Fu fighting? How, yes. How did you know <laughs> everybody? They say everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Ha, everybody? What about well, Jimmy some, sitting maybe in the there corner was some with the in there yeah. too. Maybe it wasn't all oh. Kung Fu. It might have been some other martial arts Lies. as well. But okay. we just, you know, yeah. Right. Yeah, martial arts is definitely uh, a great way to. Uh, oh, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah that's you know, that's where I started the meditation, way, and, yeah. and you know, I I always felt like I had certain things, and, and I don't know if Chris Carlin is listening or he's gonna listen. He's seen it before where I've just predicted things or I just had a feeling oh, like we so gotta go now, and oh, then ten yeah. minutes after we left, something happened. That's your intuition. So oh. I, I think everybody has certain things, mm -hmm. but you're right. The meditation or whatever will start bringing it out of you. Meditation, and also I want to say being around like-minded people. You know, being around other gifted people. And, and not limiting mm. yourself. And not limiting yourself. And also you said, you know, you're, you're taught not to believe. So right. when you have an outlet for people mm. like Guru who do believe, then mm. you can be yourself. And you can, you know, it's almost like you are amplified. Mm. And you're mm. able to just be instead of having If you to believe it, you can be it. Yes. <laughs> but not you. <laughs> and, and, and not you. Not, not him. <laughs> So Mike has no clue what you're saying, but he's hard as hell. And oh. And he also said before, because oh. he's mad I'm not doing all this great one-liners. Oh, thank you, Mike. He said, 
It's true. You definitely had the power because even though you didn't touch it, it was moving. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure we can figure it out. So many. I don't think he was talking about vibrate. the pendulum. Let's ask the pendulum what that yes. is. Yeah, Micah, Micah, Mike. Micah, Mike. Um, we all, we might, uh, Mike, you call me. <laughs> Do you have enough mics yet? Yeah, I know you're done with Nick's. Is, there, is there room for no, another mic? No, there is. There okay, is. so Nick, there's room for a mic. We're at the quarter. But, uh, mics, mics, yes. We have more. More room. We need more women, too. Not I was just going to ask, is it just men you're limited to? Because uh, I didn't um, hear you mention one Veronica, and we have one women in the room. Women that's like chatty. You know, uh, it's, <laughs> it's very important that there's not too much chatty. And, and she's not American. And texting and calling, and women like to call, and the yeah, yeah, yeah. And the men are more, hmm. So <laughs> this is why I stick more with men. I also am from Mendicate City in Planet Poop, so men. But the women also, uh, 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 business women, older women are good. The young women, not, not so, so much. No, okay. no, no, no. Okay. You need the experience. Experience. <laughs> you, can't, you can't know that many very The notes, time. So. They do, they do <laughs> chat chat. I, I don't think and people realize you're, you're 500 years old, right? 500. I'm sorry. Not, I know you're not supposed to tell a woman. No, age, no, no. I'm very proud of it. Look how, look at me. She look at what I look like. Looks good for yeah. 500. I am 500. Right? I am 500. Let us know. It's okay. A little 500 years old, but you've only been to Comic Con twice. It's enough. Well. It is nice. <laughs> once I like I like the one <laughs> night stand deal. Like once you experience it, boom, boom, bye. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You know, once Makes one sense. and done. Yeah. You move on and you learn. That's what you become really wise, wise. You learn. You move uh, on. You, you do learn how things. to. Uh, do not repeat. How to not make your feet hurt when you're walking around <laughs> the venue. Duct tape. <laughs> yes, duct, duct tape. That's what you used. To. It's surprisingly right. I I duct taped tape, my toes. Duct tape. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know where I got the idea. I, I, I always carry a roll of duct tape with me because right. no, no cosplayer walks around with duct tape. You never know when you got to Helps yeah. with everything on the costume. My feet, I was wearing these wedges. I was wearing the uh -huh. actual Wonder Woman uh, uh -huh. breeze from the movie. So the, they weren't exactly meant, meant for walking. So my toes were dead. These shoes not made and for And at one walking. point I decided, what if I tape my toes? So I, I sat down, took out the like duct tape. The whole I started doing like every other toe and it kind of worked oh and then I wor we walked around again and I we sat down again and I duct, I duct taped my whole, all my toes together. Like the, all, oh. the whole front of my foot, like shoved it in the shoe and it, it, it felt so there. much better. I was like, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. No two self. So yeah. So next year's costume, though, I'll go she back is. to a sneaker. Yes, Kenny, she's very experienced at this age. Screw who has experience. <laughs> and a lot of different things. Yes, but I came to Earth in 84. I read the book 1984, Utopian Society. Everyone on my planet, guru, 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 coming to me. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. I had to leave. I had to leave. So I wanted to come to Utopian Society, and I hear the song Bahama Antigua, Kama Pati Mama. So I want to come to the island, but I end up in Wrong Island. <laughs> this is the Wrong Island. I'm supposed to We're be in strong Bahama. Island strong Island. Now. I, says, I did not want to be on Long Island. Long Island yeah, is the Wrong yeah. Island. <laughs> now I want to tie you in because you know this is Halloween theme month. Um, hey. Everyone talks about like ghosts and spirits and stuff like this, and they mainly talk about it in October because of Halloween and everything. Of course, yeah. But talking about limiting, like a lot of people that don't believe, mm -hmm. when you actually talk to them, have had some sort of supernatural mm -hmm. experience, whether yeah. it was a ghost or not. Yeah, I mean, definitely. who's this to say? True. Mm -hmm. But I think they say children and pets <laughs> are more open to see stuff because children don't know any. Children and pets don't know any better. Once you're told they don't exist, you right. don't see it, it's not real, mm. you kind of block it and out, no and then fear. you don't. And autistic. Autistic yes. children also yeah. very psychic. Yes. Right, because again, they don't, they don't know There's any no better. Right. So yes. by telling people they're limited... They are not limited. They are actually are more in tune and in touch tune, than yeah. possibly even me. <laughs> I always say they're closer mm. to the other side. They're, yes. they're closer, they, they don't have the filter, they don't have the fear. Right. So it's really fear that kind of gets in the way. And I, I think that kids, they, you know, they're taught not to believe. They they're come in taught, just yeah. knowing. Yeah. They, mm. They're, they're actually... Because ghosts aren't real and right. spirits aren't real and everything's not real. Right. So you hear that enough and then, um, you know, I forget who actually coined the phrase, but whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Mm, but not you, you. You're going to limit yourself well, that, or you're going to open yourself. That really, that really speaks to just perception, right? Right. So it's, it's in perception. Um, and I think kids, too, they, they sense their parents' fear. Mm. Right. 
really, you know? And so they shut down. A lot of people shut down at an early age because of that. And then mm. they have an awakening when they're older and start to remember all these things. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Everybody I've spoken to oh, has yeah. some sort of ghost story. Oh. Do you have one? I don't think we've ever discussed this. A ghost mm. story? Yeah. Maybe not a ghost or, or something that you felt. I just label it as that, but just where, where you've had a presence or something happened that just was kind of unexplainable, like whether it was something moving or someone mm. touching you or I might have, something from the other side. I, I, I might have experienced a couple of things where it was like, like what was that? Because your culture is <laughs> very close and tied into that whole thing too yes i mean i mean, I mean in haiti you're either oh, okay yeah, yeah. I, I i my parents are from haiti i was uh, i grew up in haiti i was born here but um spirits i'm catching <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> the haitians are either very christian or they're into uh voodoo is there santeria there they have santeria they have they yeah they're they're very yeah. into uh, into into voodoo and stuff yeah. um I, I grew i grew up christian i grew up catholic catholic but um they yeah. they very much believe yeah. in uh, in voodoo there. Yeah. Do you? I uh, I don't disbelieve it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I know it's there. I know it exists. Okay. Right. Well, did you guys see Skeleton Key? I did no. not. Oh yes. The lesson of Skeleton Key was voodoo is real if you believe in it. Mm. Right. And that was the whole thing. Is they made well. Right. If you didn't see it, I don't Spoiler care. I'm spoiling it. <laughs> um, she they made this girl believe in it. So mm. she succumbed to it. So it's because at first she didn't believe it, and they couldn't do anything. But they mm. kept doing mm. things to, oh my God, why is this happening? Maybe it is they real. Made her believe it so then she started to doing turn stuff to try and save herself. Right, and, and then because she did it and believed in it, now she was trapped. Oh wow! Okay. Yes. So. Well, Sarah, it is a cool I, movie, though. Sarah, it is a cool. I, I have a question for Sarah. Yeah, I was just going to go to that. Because I know you had a list of what questions. What is the main thing you channel? Like, what is the purpose of your channeling? Why that's do you channel? Yes, it was well. Yeah, that's a good question. So um, the reason why I channel and the uh, messages that come through, they're all about um, helping people really get out of their own way. Because actually, whether you believe it or not, you have all the answers. It's just that I do. That's right, you do. I do. It's just that somehow, somehow you 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 limit yourself and convince yourself mm -hmm. that you don't know. So the energy of Amana is here to really help you get out of your own way, and they always kind of give you a different perspective, a different mm -hmm. way to see something, and help you really get in touch with. Uh, loving yourself, mm. which is kind of the, the foundation for everything in your life because if you don't have self-worth and you don't love yourself, everything else follows suit. I love myself every day. You love yourself maybe too much. I right? try to too. <laughs> <laughs> Never too much. No. Uh, Will has a good question. Yes, the movie The Serpent and the Rainbow. It's a famous uh, oh, horror yeah. movie that was filmed in Haiti. Yeah, was is that with Denzel? Also? It was, uh, I think with Bill Pullman. I want oh, to say, I, oh, yeah. I believe it was Bill Pullman. That's in the 80s, right? That was in I the 80s, that. early 80s. Yeah. And so a lot of Haitians always refer to that movie because a lot of okay. stuff was so real yeah. in that movie. Yeah, Kenny, right. I do have a lot of stories. <laughs> and Missy said she's been touched. Wasn't threatening, but definitely freaked her out. Uh, she was a full-fledged believer from that point. And that's usually what it is. You don't believe until something happens. I, I always consider myself an open-minded skeptic. Yeah. And what that's it is good, is though. I'll believe something, but you got to kind of prove it to me. That's good. Because there are a lot of fakes out there. Yes, there you are. Know. And you bring up a good point. It's good to have discernment, right? Right. So don't, you know, there's nothing wrong with having discernment. I'm right here. You, you go to any carnival, you. there's yes. a psychic there. Yes. And, and, and a lot and of them. What are people's intentions? You well, know? the ones that are good... What are your intentions with my daughter? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the good fake psychics, I think they're just good at reading people. And, you know, They'll get a vibe of somebody, and, yeah. and everyone's usually going there looking for an answer. Yeah. So you already know they need something. And, mm. you know, you see a lot of them. I, I, I went to a couple of psychics all the time, and, and it was really good. Because mm. uh, usually what I've noticed when you go to a psychic or something like that, it's like I see somebody with a... And they'll pick a common letter. Uh, and N in their name. Right. Doesn't even have to start with or whatever. And then you'll give it to them. Yes. Oh, Nick. Uh -huh. Yeah, Nick. So you know, you know what yeah. that's called? That's called fishing. Right. Yeah. But I had a psychic mm. went, did s stuff similar to that. And then yeah. when I gave something, she goes, no, that's not it. And I'm like, well, that's all I know. She goes, no, you're wrong. You'll you'll find out soon. Oh, and so she gave me three happens. predictions and all three came true. And I argued with her and each one. I walked out of it going, ah, what a phony she was. And it turned out she really wasn't. So wow. what happens is a lot of times people have, they call it psychic amnesia. Mm -hmm. 
you 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 kind of forget in the moment, and the psychic will tell you some. This has happened to me before too. You and people say no, 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 and then all of a sudden, a couple of days later, they're like, oh yeah. Except on the on our end, <laughs> we're not getting the oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's up to me to just trust. Right. To well, just allow the message to come through and not judge it. Well, one example mm -hmm. she gave me, she told me I was going to be getting a promotion at work. I worked in a, in a small shop, and I was the only one in my department. I'm like, there is no. Uh, promotion, you're wrong. She uh, goes, no, I'm telling you, you're going to get a promotion. I'm like, well, I'm uh, telling you, you're wrong. He says, unless I become an owner, <laughs> there's no promotion. And she goes, I'm telling you, within three months, you're going to get one. I said, all right, whatever. Sure. And about two and a half months later, the salesman for the company left because, um, you know, without getting too involved, he he bought a business out. <coughs> this driver salesman came with him. So he was leaving for another company. So my boss came to me and goes, do you want that job? It'll be like a promotion. And I just looked wow. at him for a minute, See? and he's like, do you not want him? I'm like, that's nah, really weird. I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. But I'm like, yeah. and I just like wanted to call this one. I'm like, holy shit, you yeah, were right. <laughs> but yes. That's why you can't, you can't judge things sometimes. You just have to let them be what they are. Right. Yeah. But I, I was call. insistent she was wrong oh. because it wasn't, it was impossible. Yeah. But again, yeah. you, know, well, you know, if you think it's impossible, it will be, but then things can still happen. Yeah. So that's why it's up to the medium, anybody who's giving messages. Um, if I get pink elephant and I'm telling you, and you're like, what's a pink elephant? Mm -hmm. Don't judge it. Mm -hmm. It right. might be something. You might go home and there might be a pink elephant on the TV. You don't yes. know. Right. So, But it's up for me just to honor that. Yeah, you see, you, well, I know people get different ways of getting their signs. Some people yes. get visions yep. of different things and pictures, and it yep. might not mean anything to you. But when you put it out there, like you said, it could be something that's just on yeah. TV. There's a pink elephant stuffed animal right. in the room at the Sometimes time Sometimes it's just happens. about synchronicity. Has anyone ever moment. challenged you and thought that you were wrong yeah. or been skeptical of it's, you? Yes, yes. I've had people um, tell me I'm acting. Oh. And I always say to them, you know, if I was that great of an actress, I'd be making a lot more money. I, I you know. You're a good actress, there's, though. There's, there's, there's no reason <laughs> for me to act. You know, and I've had people challenge me, but... Yeah, money. But it's not up to me to convince anyone. See, so that's why sometimes yeah. I question the bigger name psychics, and I'm not going to name anybody or trash anybody on the show. Do but it. But you just wonder, like, <laughs> are they in it for the money? Are they just really do good? It, do are they really do good it. at at reading people? And do they put plants in the audience when they go on tour and stuff like no, that? Because I, it's yeah, it's it's something to think about. But I think I know just, they used to do that with the. Uh, when they did the religious circuit, I think Steve Mont was in a movie about that, uh, where they oh did yeah. the, the healing, yeah. and yeah. they had plants yeah. in the yeah. audience, yeah. and someone would limp up, and you're, yeah. you're healed, and yes. like, woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's it's unfortunate because that does exist, and yes. it gives people like me a bad name, <laughs> because right. then people are seeing this and thinking, that's what all, but, um, you know, but again, what, what can you do? Boop it, you know? Yeah. You uh, as someone that's your... legit, what advice would you give someone seeking something like this, how to determine that? Because, I mean, there's psychics all over the place now. And yeah, good I, how would you? That is a great question. Um, everybody has their inner feeling, right? So immediately, if something doesn't feel right for you, whether your mind is saying yes or no, if it doesn't feel right, go with that. Go with the feeling in your body. If it doesn't feel right, it does, is not for you. It's okay. Um, I would also be leery of anyone who is um, telling you messages that are kind of like really rooted in the negative. Mm. Because anyone who's in, uh, working with light energy is mm. the divine beings, the evolved beings, they're not going to give messages of a negative light. They're always going to give you um, the positive spin on it. Even if it's a troubling time, they're going to give you a way to, you know, get out of it or a way to see things differently. They're not going to tell you negative. Mm -hmm. So anything that's really rooted in the negative or in absolutes, stay away from. Mm -hmm. uh, does that make sense? Yeah, I know yeah. I was yes. also yeah. told by some yes. psychics, and I like your, both your opinions on it, because I'll include you in this. I don't trust mm -hmm. anyone um, who smile on cue. If they're always smile, smile, or their hair perfect. Like, I trust Sarah more because <laughs> she has a little frizz in her hair. <laughs> her hair is too perfect. It's So it's, I'm good, too, because I'm a little frizzy. Yes, it's humid I can't out there. Trust right? it's you just, if, I can't do anything with this. You're the perfect hair and nails. <laughs> you know, it's good. I it is good to have a little imperfection, and she has that, so it is good. <laughs> but I know, I know, realistically, I know people can have negativity around them and bad things around them. 
one. Uh. But if a psychic is telling you there's a demon <laughs> around you and give me ten thousand right, dollars, that's, that's I've heard they're all fake. Yeah, Anyone so who's trying to bilk you for anything hey. you got, milk you for anything <laughs> you got, and um, just like when I gave you the ten grand before, guest. Hello. I gave you ten thousand dollars, and that that demon is still in my house. Yeah, anyone who's well, gonna ask you for money? Maybe like that? you are like a track like, and maybe you're kind of negative. You know, I see you eat pineapple pizza. It's not exactly high vibration today. Pineapple pizza. So is good. you know, pineapple pizza and demon, same level. You know. I had a bad experience actually. Mm -hmm. Somebody um, found me in a Barnes and Noble, and she came up to me, and she was very uh, nice. And, yeah, and she said, "Oh, you have great energy. What do you do? Are you a medium?" And she she read me spot on. Wow. She actually said some really mm -hmm. valid things, and so I booked an appointment with her, and she reeled me in because she was actually. Um, it's not to say that people who are scam artists they do have actual abilities, right? Um, but they're in it for the money. So if somebody asked you, so I went to her house and we got, we talked further and then she told me, lo and behold, I had a dark energy mm. with me that came from a past life mm. and I should give her $300. Give me $300. So, yes, I will, a Guru is, will remove it for me. I can yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah. But Poop anyone it. who asks Poop you her. for $300 to light a candle or something like that, stay away from that. $300 to light candles. <laughs> I do it for free. This I give right. you all discount. I know you wrote other questions too. So you want to get any? Oh other yes. Quickly ask. Uh, what can you say to these skeptics? Like, what what, yeah. what are you feeling? What would you say if someone say, "Oh, prove it, prove it. I don't believe you." Oh, I've I had, get this I've too all the time. I've had that. Sure. I just banish them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you? Do? I think I should start doing that. Turn them into a frog. Just banish. I think that um, I always say to people like that. You know, you have free will. My job isn't to prove anything to you. I would suggest that you follow your heart. And that's but I'm it. sure you could understand why there's a lot of skeptic people of because there's so many phonies out there. Of it's tough. And, and my job too. I mean, I I know I'm part of the spiritual community. I've seen it all. And there are a lot of people who are very ungrounded, who are very like floofy, and I try to be more grounded. And I think that. It's a work in progress. As we evolve, we can be both human and intuitive. So helping people to see that just because someone's in the spiritual doesn't mean they're not grounded as well and logical as well because mm. I'm both those things. You are. You are. You do eat sweet potato. And actually, for <laughs> anyone who's watching, if you feel ungrounded or spacey, sometimes even I do this before bed. I have the sweet potato, the yam, the grounding root vegetables. That will bring you down. Yeah. It will. It's true. I, I find it funny, too, like for the skeptics that don't believe in it at all, are also the same people that won't step on a crack in a sidewalk oh, or that's won't true. live on the 13th that's floor. That is so true. Walk under a ladder. Got to put Janice, the left shoe on you first. You hit the on the head. This is true. Why did we lose a game? I put my left yeah, shoe on what first. Is that? Damn it. Yeah, it's I'm my fault. Don't you know a young man jersey. who won't? <laughs> let, let I us know talk. somebody just like yes, that. Yes, we know a young man yes. who won't save her phone number in his phone. He won't believe her, her channeling, yet he will not save her phone number he in believe. his phone because it is bad luck. He thinks if he puts what, my his name... wife's going to find out and kick his ass? Or? No, he's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that might be enough. Because that might be a reason not to... Yeah, I don't Maybe. believe in putting phone numbers in there because... Because <laughs> my wife women. might find it. You it's a superstition. Yes. Like, it's a superstition. And I think superstitions are fear-based fear, fear -based thinking, right? You know who mm. some of the biggest um, mm. superstitious people are? Athletes. Yeah. yeah, athletes are crazy. They wear the same yeah, socks, yeah, or they grow the beard for the playoffs, yeah. or have to wear the same sweaty jersey yeah. every day. Yeah. Just, like, like, just like the voodoo, yeah. you were saying, like it's what you put your belief in, right? Mm. Yeah. So if you're putting, because we have the power to do that as creative beings, if you're putting all your belief in that, you're actually creating that. Mm. So it's not the superstition; it's it's your energy behind the superstition. Right. Mm. Yeah. It, it, that's you're actually making it so. What are your thoughts on crystals? Oh. Is this something you put your energy in and then it become what you want it to be? Or the crystal actually have well, power? Well, quartz can r run yeah. a watch, so why wouldn't it have... Oh. Why can't other crystals or stones mm -hmm. have energies or some type of influence on you? And, and yeah. Long Island is on crystal crystal grid, yes? Well, Long Island has oh, really? lots, of, sure. lots of quartz. Oh, really? Oh, really? I believe so. I, know I, know believe I know New York, York has a lot of on yeah, so There is a lot of crystal <laughs> on Long Island, absolutely. I, uh, I am on the wrong island, yeah. perhaps <laughs> it is the right island. There is a crystal grid on it's, the it's island. It's possible, I'm yes, just not aware yes, of it. Yes, yes, yes. Audience, 
And you don't but I, I know um, in healing, they've used magnets and stuff on people yeah, and everything, yeah. too, like yeah. physical therapists. So uh, that's all bullshit. We but here, have, use this or, you know, wear we this. We have and electricity and, running through our bodies. Yes, yeah. we do. Yes. Yeah. So. It, it's funny, though, because I brought a Kung Fu before. Um, ancient cultures use different ways of spiritual healing and, and stuff that's looked at as bullshit that we're just getting to mm, here now. Very true. And it's funny because now it's, oh, well, no, the doctor said this, so it's true. And, mm. you know, mm. and not that I want to knock doctors because I know a lot that are legit, but, you know, a lot of them are motivated by the money too. Yeah. You need Prozac because Prozac's the only thing that can right, help that's you. That's the pharmacy. And then they're writing it on a Prozac the pad with a Prozac company. pen. Well, yeah. if you have Prozac deficiency, you need Prozac. So if you are depressed, you're probably depressed because you have a Prozac deficiency. So you should have more Prozac, yes? And then you'll, it'll fix you. But I think they um, they prescribe too much. You, you go on the Life with Guruji <sighs> plan. If you feel sad. The Life with Genergy. You go on the Life with Guruji. <laughs> <laughs> No, but Gen Genergy Gen Plan is actually, dead. it talks about different alternative uh, medicines and seeking out your, you know, food as medicine, right? Food is medicine. Right? Yes, yes. I do not need to eat, but certain foods, the humans, yes, it, I know, it like turns the depression, they say turmeric is good. Turmeric mm -hmm. can help um, with the inflammation. And what did Jen say about inflammation is related to, to mood digestion. disorders? What did Jen say about amino acids? Uh, what I no, say I about video. amino acids <laughs> is the brain video. needs amino acids. So if you feel tired, yeah. depressed, unfocused. Eggs, right? Eggs I are very good. That Moringa powder, yeah. goji berry, yeah. uh, rice and beans. The full spectrum of yeah. amino acids is very important. I say that, not Jen. Hi. Talking about um, <laughs> amino acids is feelings true. and gut feelings you brought up before. And since we're discussing Jen, um, mm -hmm. it was funny because when, when we did the improv class, when she came in, I definitely felt like a different energy from her. There was something positive. Mm, she's got great and energy. And I was like, wow, I got to know this girl. I got to yeah. get her on the show. I got to, you know. Yeah. And Teresa yeah. felt the same way, honestly. Do not do not let Jen outshine me. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about I guess. Why does Poo -poo Jen yet? talk? Jen uh, is not uh, here right now. I don't know I why you I think you would like up. Jen, Guru. Yes? I think you should give her a chance. Yeah. Okay. I think she's okay. got great I like you, so maybe. I like her too, though. Okay. Okay. So we all could right. all hang out. All right. All right, fair enough. Fair Before enough. we run out of time, because I see it's getting a little close, um, how would somebody get in touch with you? Oh, um, they would go to uh, www.lightofamana.com. That's my website. Um, mm. You could see my channeling videos. You can go on YouTube, uh, Sarah Light of Amana. I uh, film and record all of my channelings. So you mm. can check that out. Um, but I would recommend coming to see me channel versus going on YouTube because... When you see me on YouTube, it's a little bit different than when you're yes. there. Okay. I'm not biggest fan of video, but in person, oh my God. So yes. you feel the energy oh. more. Um, but if you go to uh, also on Facebook, uh, Sarah Intuitive Artist and Channel, mm. all of my events are posted there. So or you your house. Or my house. You could no, my just house. come We're to your house. No, my house. <laughs> no. Party, Sarah. Party. <laughs> my house. Okay. Yeah, so, um, oh. you know, I, I always, I always, find it funny when somebody brand new to this whole thing comes to a channeling because I'm like, well, you're in for a, mm. a treat, you know? Yeah. Now, the group things, um, I know usually they don't get to everybody, which is why people are skeptical, too. If you want something specific, you can... Does it come to you? Like, can you... I don't want to say force it, but if someone came, if I wanted you to channel for me, you could do it? Yeah, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Okay. I do one on ones, sure. I'd have to visit you. Um, I do one on one. I don't want to put you on the spot and have you do it here. I do but. one on one channeling. I do one on one <laughs> healing. Um, you can read me if you want. I don't the care. The one on I'm ones open. are a little bit different than the group because right. actually the energy of the group, the collective energy of the group, um, kind of drives mm. the message. So you could have 10 people there who all have a similar energy usually are getting together for a similar purpose unbeknownst to them it's just kind of how it uh so it's a little bit different one-on-one -on -one. Mm. Right. yeah than a one-on-one -on -one, but Miss you. i had one-on-one -on -one. very good she knew i had le lemons my refrigerator was <laughs> full of lemons like 20 lemons i kept them saying lemons, lemons lemons i kept them saying lemons one, one for every neck <laughs> <laughs> but not not 20 i wish <laughs> so, uh, how would they get in touch with Guru Poo Poo? Oh, the Guru, uh, you just, just reach like Johnny Wishbone, the life just think with Johnny Wishbone, I'll be there. Guru G.com. Your life with Guru G.com. Okay. You can call Jen. Um, Jen I is would okay. go with Jen. Jen Elise Feldy on Facebook. 
or Janelise on Instagram. She's very, very knowledgeable. She's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know how to get in touch with you. Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> you better. Uh, we get in touch with her tomorrow. I, can I touch you? Yes, you can. I get in oh, touch she got with in touch you. We share. <laughs> I get in touch with you. I get in touch with you. <laughs> and We're playing with your boob. Oh, it's okay. It's boob for everybody. Okay. Everybody. Uh, so that pretty much does it. Uh, I want to thank Except everyone for coming Damon. on. Uh, <laughs> just get this out real quick. Don't forget to talk to Frank Zambuto from Kayla Logistics. 347-536-3933. Next week, we should have Teresa back, and I don't want to say until it's 100% confirmed, but we should be having a guest uh, that's an actor in A Haunted House. Uh, and once it's 100% confirmed, we'll put out the video. Well, she'll make the video, and I'll share it. I like your videos. Thank you. And, Mike, we'll work on that. We'll get through October, and we'll work on that. <laughs> and Mike is touching himself. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you next week. You have fun, Mike. Bye. You send pictures. <laughs> or it did not happen. <laughs>